everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are seeing my face for the first time, this is Carol. In today's video, I will be talking about my top 5 foundations. Before I start this video, I just want to say that all the foundations that I will be showing in this video may not be exactly of my skin tone. I have foundations of different shades and I always like to mix them to get the perfect shade. But if you are somebody who is looking to buy a foundation for personal use for yourself, you can always pick up a single shade that works for you. What I'm going to focus on in this video is the foundation, why I like it. And I'm going to be talking about foundations of different textures, different consistencies, different brands of course, and also different price ranges. So without wasting more time, let's get into the video. The first foundation I have with me is the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Matte Foundation. Honestly, I don't know a single person who's into makeup who does not know about this foundation and in my opinion, this foundation is definitely worth its popularity. It's got two sizes, so let's talk about that first. Um, one is the 30ml bottle, it's a glass bottle and the good news is that they now have a pump. Previously, it used to come in this kind of bottle, so you have to like literally pour the product and sometimes you pour extra and then you try to put it back in and it wastes a lot of product and also contaminates the product inside the container so the fact that they've come up with a pump now is great and this one is 30 ml and it retails at 500 rupees they have another smaller size which is an 18 ml container and it retails at 299 rupees I really like this size because it's so easy for me to carry wherever I want and since I'm a makeup artist I work on so many different people I have to carry so much makeup in my bag the smaller the packaging the better for me so that's why I like this packaging it's fully plastic it does not have a pump of course it's just a regular tube and you have to pour the product out so you have to be very careful with how much you're pouring out when it comes to this particular size the texture of this is matte, so it works great for combination to oily skin types. But honestly, I'm a dry skin type and this foundation works really well for me as well. You probably just have to moisturize your skin a little bit more. So this shade is too light for me, it's shade 128. But I'm just going to show you the texture of this. I'm just going to pump a little bit there. You can see it gives such nice coverage. And it's got this matte texture, but it's not too drying on the skin and that's why I really like it. Another good thing about this is that it's a really lightweight foundation, so it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, neither does it look heavy. So for all the beginners out there and for people who don't like too much makeup or don't like too much foundation on their skin, this foundation will do the job for you. The next foundation I have here with me is the Pack HD Foundation. This one looks exactly like the MAC Studio Fix foundation if you see and even consistency wise, texture wise, quality wise, I would say it's a dupe for the MAC Studio Fix. And if I have to honestly tell you, I like this one more than the Studio Fix foundation only because this glides on the skin a lot more smoother and is a lot more lightweight than the Studio Fix is. I feel like the Studio Fix is a little thick on the skin which is nice as well but I just like the way this sits on the skin a lot more. Now I love using this for professional use because it's got the HD finish, it's got the coverage needed for a bride or for somebody who's looking for coverage. This also is a matte foundation but it doesn't sit too dry on the skin again. It is very smooth, it's got blurring properties so it even blurs out fine texture on the skin. The pump has got a lock here so when you're traveling it's never going to leak from the pump even if you press it down, it doesn't go down. So you can open the lock when you want to press it down and you can lock it back. It's got a pump, you can pump out the product. It's a really smooth mat to be honest with you. It's not a drying mat at all but it's got insane amount of coverage. Just look at that. The coverage is great, shade range is huge. They've got 22 shades in it guys, 22. So for those of you who want to invest in a foundation for professional use or you like a little bit more coverage, this foundation will do it for you. It's, it's really good. It's really, really good. I highly, highly recommend this particular foundation. Coming to the next foundation, I have here with me one foundation that I really love. It is called the Ordinary Serum Foundation. Unfortunately, this foundation is not very easily accessible in India. It is a Canadian brand. 
but there are some pages on Instagram that sell international brands so I can do a little bit of research and probably put the link down in the description but I really like this foundation my cousin got it for me from Canada once I tried it I just couldn't get off of it and I just kept ordering it again and again again this packaging is a plastic bottle it's got a pump and a cover for the pump so it's not going to leak now it's over so I have to I have to take the product from inside uh, but this one's texture is a little different from the previous two this one's not matte neither is it too glossy or oily it's got a very smooth velvet like finish or like a mousse like finish the shade is too dark for me but if you see the texture it's it's quite velvety it's very soft in texture this foundation would give you a light to medium coverage and you can build on the coverage when I'm working on my clients I like to use this for mature skin or for people who have a little more texture on the skin because it just blends very smoothly and is extremely lightweight so for those of you who want a foundation that's not too light in coverage or not too heavy in coverage either this foundation will do it for you if you're going to be traveling you can pick it up from there or I will put the link down in the description from where you can get it the next foundation I have with me is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation this particular foundation is not very easily accessible in India but again there may be some Instagram pages that sell international products and I will try to put the link down in the description talking about the packaging this also has a glass bottle it's got a plastic pump so it is easy to use so packaging wise it is great the quality of this is just so good it is a full coverage foundation let me just show you it is a full coverage foundation it can cover almost anything but doesn't look too heavy on the skin now there was a lot of comparison made between the Fenty Beauty foundation and the Huda Beauty foundation but I don't think you can compare the two the Huda Beauty is also full coverage but is a lot more thicker and heavier on the skin this one just feels like skin but is full coverage waterproof sweat proof stays forever like I mean it it'll stay until you take it off the price of this is definitely on a higher end I bought it for about 3,000 rupees after converting dollars to rupees uh, but I will try to see if I can get a link to an Instagram page that ships international makeup products to India and you know the best thing about this foundation is that it's got 50 shades like five zero shades can you believe it that's almost the number of shades that MAC has in a Studio Fix foundation and that is so so good about this foundation it is so inclusive of all skin tones this foundation gives a medium to full coverage you can definitely build on the coverage to achieve full full coverage the last foundation I have with me is the MAC water weight foundation this definitely is not one of the most popular foundations out there but I personally really like it because of its texture so the texture of this is very dewy I would call it kind of oily actually um, it's a glass bottle got a dropper kind of packaging so you just drop the product the texture of this is what I actually really like so if you see it's really oily it's it's got this very dewy kind of finish so it's great for winters for my skin type again since I'm a dry skin type it's really hydrating for me but it is not going to give you as much coverage it's very light uh, coverage light to medium I'd say and um, it works great for a casual outing or if you're you know just stepping out and not going somewhere where you need to wear a lot of makeup this foundation will definitely work for you and again for those people who want their skin to look like skin I think this is this foundation will do it for you this again is on the slightly pricey side it retails at 3600 rupees very expensive but it is a nice foundation for beginners and people who don't like a lot of makeup so these were my top five foundations and all of these foundations are foundations I've been using since ages now and I really like all of these but if I had to pick one foundation of this which one would I pick oh, no. okay honestly I would pick the Fenty Beauty foundation this definitely wins above all of the other foundations but it is not available in India and I feel so bad about that um, so just to be fair let me pick one foundation that is easily available in India I think the winner for me would be 
the pack foundation this foundation is really really good and workable which means you can do so many things it is a full coverage foundation it is matte so you can use it as that but it doesn't mean that you cannot use it as a dewy foundation you can always mix your moisturizer in it and use it as even a tinted moisturizer and it works brilliantly so i think the winner for me among the five would be the pack hd foundation thank you so much for watching and if you like this video and you want to see more such videos then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let's build this family together until the next time take care bye